option right now for families to fill up, and the I team wants to make sure you're getting what you pay for. Our chief investigative reporter, Matthew Campbell, went along with the Department of Consumer Protection to make sure you're not getting shorted at the pump. Gas stations are under more customer scrutiny now than ever before. We get complaints, the state does too. In fact, the Department of Consumer Protection got 122 complaints so far this year. How many are valid? Here's how they find out. I'm from the state of Connecticut, Department of Consumer Protection. Gas stations never know when weights and measures inspectors like Daniel Adcock and his partner Luigi Zavarella will show up. And I'm here to do a fuel inspection on your station day. Are you the manager or the supervisor? The random inspections start with that introduction and a check of the license. The true test comes right here at the pumps. We're here at the Gulf Gas Station on Cromwell Lab in Rocky Hill for a reason. Gas here, 4 dollars cents a gallon. This is the cheapest on the block, possibly the cheapest in town. And folks are going to come out of their way just to save a few bucks. So we want to make sure that it's not too good to be true. Now, Inspectors are going to open these doors. They're going to look inside to make sure the previous inspector's work hasn't been tampered with. We know if it's been tampered with or if it's been recalibrated. This one passes the test, but before they close the door. We also check while we're in here for skimmer devices. Now it's time to test the efficiency of the pump. They start with regular unleaded and pump five gallons into this tank. What we're doing here is we're making sure that you see that zero mark? That zero is exactly five gallons. And what we're checking for is at the bottom of the bubble, they call it the meniscus, we're making sure that to the bottom of the bubble, it's on the zero mark at five gallons on the display. Daniel moves on to premium and it zeroes out again. This is a pass. In addition to the five gallon check, there are two other things inspectors do during this fill up to make sure we're getting what we pay for. There's a jump that we look for in the beginning, which we didn't see. And we also were looking for a creep. Um, Basically, when you let go of the nozzle after you finish pumping, we want to make sure that that display doesn't continually to roll up. Once the inspection is over, the gas is pumped back to the station and pumps pass with this sticker or fail with this red one. Gas pumps are inspected once every two years, but Daniel's job is also complaint driven. We're up to about 122. 122 complaints statewide this year. You can't blame customers for putting gas stations under the microscope. DCP says of those complaints, 10 to 15 percent of them end up being valid and they get the red tag. Here's a breakdown. So far this year, 22 pumps have been red tagged. This is just a fraction of the number of pumps at the 1,410 gas stations across the state. Officials say shorting customers is not common. I don't think I've ever seen one where the whole station was short. In fact, officials say most pump failures actually benefit the customer, meaning you get slightly more fuel than you pay for. But if you do want to file a complaint, the DCP gas hotline number 1-800-842-2649. That number can also be found on the Channel 3 app. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.